Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs and a quick video on chain test cucumber dependency also that how can we generate and integrate the chain test uh, reporting with the cucumber JBM project. So if you are using cucumber BDD based framework with the Java, now you can easily integrate with that. I have already prepared a video with the chain test with a test G. Now I'm preparing a video on the cucumber as well. So if you go to their official uh, GitHub repository, and uh, if you slightly scroll down, you see that TestNG we have already prepared, Cucumber JVM also you can use it and the JUnit also we can use that. So maybe in the next video I can prepare a video with the JUnit 5 as well. PyTest with Python is still in progress, but let's click on the Cucumber JVM here now. When you click on that, it says that uh, this is just one dependency that is what you have to add it here. So this is the artifact ID, chain test uh, Cucumber JVM. So what I'll do here in this formed XML file, first of all, that I was using some earlier extend report. So I'm just going to comment it out. See this, the previous extend report, which is now deprecated. We are going to use this one, 1.0.4 1 version. Chain test Cucumber JVM report. I'm going to use it over here. I hope you guys can uh, see it here. So please do not forget to comment it out the previous one. And then please start using this as the latest dependency. Maybe when you watch the video, please check the latest version of the Maven and then you can use the respective version accordingly over here and after that we just need to update the maven uh, from here and then after that that's it after that you just need to go to your runner file and the test runner file and you need to add this particular plugin there that's it so you see that here i'm having one uh, test runner.java and i'm already having this particular plugin whatever com dot even stack plugins this particular listener that we have to end given an entry here remember in the a test ng runner with the cucumber options plugin we can give any kind of listener over here so this is what the listener which is provided over here so i just copy and then paste it over here and that's it put a comma and then other cucumber options will remain same plus you have to add the chain test properties also if you really want to add it so here if you really want to generate the server make sure that your docker is up and running if you just just want to generate only simple report and the email report these are the static report in that case, you don't need any Docker for that. But if you really want to maintain any historical data or previous data, you can just simply maintain chain LP server, simple report, and then the email also, you can use it here. Make sure that, okay, Docker is up and running in the background to generate the chain LP server report. Okay. So my Docker is already up and running that we have already discussed in the previous session. If you haven't watched, please go and watch it over there. And this is what the Cucumber JVM open card project, the name, whatever the name you really want to give, you can give it here. So for example, now I'm giving, let's see, this is my open card app automation with Cucumber. Let's see, this is what I'm giving it here, right? And then that's it. Make sure that the chain test dot properties is available inside your SRC test resources. It's available here. So only three things that you have to add it, update your pomid XML file, chain test dot properties, and then the test runner.java along with this plugin information. And that's it. After that, you just simply run this from the runner also, from the Maven also, it will work fine. So I'll do one thing. I just open my terminal and then I just simply clear this console. Let me just simply run it uh, here. So let me just simply run it with Maven clean install. Let's see, I'm running these two tags at the rate login and at the rate accounts. So I have only two feature files. And uh, I'm running in the parallel mode also with the two thread count. Okay, so let it execute. I have only two basic uh, feature files having some basic scenarios and scenario outline with the examples uh, table also. And um, some of the scenarios are getting failed. Deliberately, I'm making it fail so that we can see that how exactly it is marked as fail in the report. Okay, so let it quickly run. And then after that, we will see the report. Okay, it's searching for another negative test, ATL. We don't have any product for ATL. So the test should be, we are expecting, okay, it should give me the zero results. So let's see. Okay, so now you see that all the execution is done. Everything is perfect. The Maven build is overall failure because we have some failures over there. You see that two test cases got failed out of 10 and uh, something, something wrong here. Some title got wrong or some list got wrong here. And then I'll open this particular report here. You see that the my chain test server is already up and running. I refresh this report. And here you see that whatever the name that we have given, open cart app automation with Cucumber on my dashboard, it's displaying here, build number one, two minutes ago. You just open this and then you can see the complete uh, 
uh, reporting structure here, all your tags, at the rate accounts, WIP, smoke, login, regression test cases. 80% test cases got passed and uh, two got failed here. And you see that see, the page header should be this, although it's not opening it. This is just marking as a failure over here, but it's not giving me any information that why it got failed and everything. I think that part, they have to improve it a little bit. But uh, here, this is a report. So here you can see I have the feature file login page feature. And the second feature file that I'm having, it's account page feature. And all the steps uh, definition, the step scenarios and outlines and everything is displayed over here. Along with the tag and the timeline and outline, you can just simply check it over here. I hope you can see it here. Okay, about the time and number of tags used in this particular feature file, everything is simple visible here. If you really want to see my feature file, let me just quickly show you the feature files which are uh, placed here. See this login page dot feature and another one I'm having this account page dot feature, simple feature file that I'm having, having it. Uh, in accounts page, I'm having a scenario and this particular scenario outline. So same report should be displayed uh, there as well. You see that here we have only accounts tag and then uh, scenario and the scenario outline for every, see data is coming. You can see that iMac result count should be one for Samsung result count should be two and for ATEL result count should be zero. This is the exact same thing that we have written over here. You see that the data is also getting displayed. Maybe it's up to them how exactly they really want to display the data. But uh, if any test is getting failed, for example, login to feature or user should be redirected to this. Whatever the reason of the failure, it should give me that. So right now it's not giving me, maybe in future they will implement that along with the screenshot and all those things. Also, we need to uh, check because uh, it's not implemented yet. Right. And then you can see filter it out. See, this is also a bug only pass. If I'm writing it, it's not giving me the pass one. If I'm writing the only failed one, then only it's giving me all of them together. And then if I clear the filter and again clear on pass, it's not giving me anything here. So that is what like small, small things. I think they really need to improve it. But anyways, this is like if you really want to integrate with the with your Cucumber uh, JVM or Java based BD framework also, you can easily integrate that here as well. You see that the toggle summary and all those things will remain same. You can see the matrix also here and uh, see two feature files are there, account page and the login page and the respective uh, start date, end date, build number 11. Ideally, I don't know why it's giving me build number 11. See that build number 11. We just executed this particular uh, execution only once. So why it's giving me build number 11 over here? It should give me build number one only, right? So maybe that count number, build number is also slightly wrong here. Maybe in future, they will uh, improve it here. Ideally, it should give me 11, I mean one, right? Not 11. So anyways, so this is just a POC that we have done. So it's not like, okay, we cannot use it with the Cucumber. We can use it with the Cucumber as well. So I hope it's clear. Just try to implement it in, in case of any kind of updates or any kind of new features are implemented, like, you know, generating the logs, adding the logs, a screenshot and everything. I'll prepare a full flash video on the channel along with the test ng, along with the uh, Cucumber and the PyTest also once it's available. Okay, but let's wait. Maybe they are still doing the development. You see that. Uh, development is still in progress and every day they are making some changes you see here on their official website number of 492 commits are there so just keep you also keep an eye on this 13 hours ago 20 hours ago they made a couple of changes so we need to check it accordingly what are the new changes then on on the basis of that we will do a poc and then we'll implement in the framework as well so that's all for today thank you so much please share this video with others who are looking for a chain test Plus, I have already prepared a video on um, TestNG. This is like quite stable. So that or video also, if you really want to use it with the TestNG immediately, you can use it there. That's all. Thank you so much, guys.